approaching Dolphin Island for Romeo 9 in the uh, PA24-250 or 250 Comanche. Um, sending down to pattern altitude, which is about 1,100 feet. You can see I've got the manifold pressure already pulled back pretty far. The Comanche is a really slick airplane. Uh, doesn't like to slow down. We can throw the gear out 150 miles an hour, but that puts a lot of load on the gear motor. So usually we try to slow into the white arc, which starts at 125 uh, for the flaps before we put the gear down. So you'll see as we um, I sort of shallow the descent a little bit down here at the bottom, just to bleed some speed to be able to get the gear out slower. Visual approach, runway 12 is loaded in the GTN 650. It's going to display on CDIs on both of the G5s. It's also going to show in the top CDI just to the left of the moving map, which is also slaved to the GPS. You can see the vertical CDI right now isn't moving because that only becomes active once it senses we're inbound towards the uh, threshold. Dolphin Island traffic, command G57 pops, three to the east, entering left downwind, one two, Dolphin Island. Clean up the before landing checklist here in a second. All right, landing, fuel pumps on, standing by on the gear. Gear coming down. Gear down green, mixture rich, prop forward. That cleans up the landing checklist. The airport's right off the nose to the left, that sort of spit of land that's water on three sides. Sometimes they call this a carrier type landing. It's 3,000 feet long and it's uh, 80 feet wide, so pretty comfortable runway for the Comanche. Winds are out of the east, or sort of at my back right now, so we're going to see the effect of that when I turn final. I'm getting pushed a little to the right. So we turn out for downwind. We're going to be flying basically a decelerating approach, uh, using adding a third of flaps uh, in each leg and slowly working our speed off to a uh, target of just over 80 miles an hour across the fence. So there's the first third of flaps, starting the glide, uh, Gulf Intercoastal Waterway there in front with a barge tow. Starting our base turn, you've watched that vertical CDI. It's going to be coming alive here any second. There it is. So again, that uh, the Garmin sequenced us on the visual approach. Um, it's coming in pretty Dolphin high. Traffic six zero five on Papa turning final one way two runway one two full stop. The crossover mid still to the left downwind runway one three head for Robert Chain. Three green, short final. So let's bring it in pretty high because it's over water. Now we're coming a little bit more on the normal glide slope here. We are a little right of center line, which I'll correct here in a second. Uh, trimming as I slow down. Get on that center line. And there it is. Breaks. And the early pipers, you definitely don't want to get on the brakes hard. With the flaps down, uh, you'll tend to skid the tires. That's why the flaps come up right away. Uh, this airplane does not have tow brakes, so brakes are basically a bar you pull. Uh, doesn't sound as bad as it seems. Uh, pretty easy to get used to. 
here we're just rolling out we're going to turn on to the little apron here where they have tie down spots available if you want to go into town and in one of the many restaurants or go see the historical uh, Fort Gaines so hope everyone enjoyed and see you again soon